brother? Why do we have to wear undergarments? It's such a hassle. The records claim humans covered their crotches as they went about their business. Revealing one's genitals was seen as problematic. So just be quiet and wear them already. Okay, but why are we eating this plant matter? Machines don't need to eat things like this. This is a type of fruit. Our data suggests that mankind gained great intelligence from consuming <laughs> fruit. So quit griping and eat it already. Alright, if that's what you want. But once we're done, can we play together for a bit? Fine. Oh, great. Then I'll eat lots of fruit. And of course Eve's eating an apple. Operator 210 here. Do you read me? Operator to 9S. I have bad news and I have good news. Bad first. We've confirmed the presence of two Goliath-class heavy weapon enemies. Two of them? Now the good news. We've used your previous Goliath combat data to analyze the enemy. And it seems we have identified a weakness. Command has modified a firing unit based on this new intel. It's been installed on a pair of flight units that are heading your way. That's your R&D for you. Check your map data. Operator out. Thanks, Operator. 2B, Command is deploying new flight units for us. They just set the coordinates, so let's get going. On it. The flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous, but we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. like we're in some trouble. But not too big of trouble. If I can pick that up. Ah, a letter. I must have missed this last time. Or I'm in the wrong building. One or the other. Both perfectly, uh... Equally viable... Outcomes. Oh no, don't do that to me. I was spending a whole lot of uh, valuable time floating up here. Okay. Now I know I can uh, get over here. Yeah, okay.
He's got quite a speed blur to him. Yeah! Damn it! To be displaying data on central wiring hub. How impassable is this gonna be? No. Oh, not at all, okay. Just, uh, just whittling down his health is all. Honestly, I'm disappointed, Engels. I was expecting a lot more for something that looks like, uh... Who's the guy from Transformers? I forget. That was a long time ago. The big one. Should do it. Yeah. Bye. Let's get to those flight units while we can. Enemy anti air defenses are on patrol at higher altitudes. A low altitude approach is recommended. Got it. Thanks. All right. I wasn't really expecting that, but sure. One am I? Okay. Honestly, these were way harder the first time around. Now it's, it's like a joke. Bye-bye. Target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! Enemy vibrations are growing in intensity. It's resonating in tandem with the area beneath the combat zone.
What the? Alien. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? in centuries. We've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine life forms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I used command's data to determine the signal source and marked it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. If we're lucky. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? We picked up the signal under the caved-in area. Let's go check it out. What is this? Analysis. It is a cave-in caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Why is there such a huge cavern beneath the city? That's a weird looking enemy. This hallway looks pretty old.
Look at all these dead machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. To be. Look. Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome <laughs> to the. How would they know that they're alien the motherships when no one's seen them in in hundreds of years or however long? You. To be. Look out. My name. is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago by us, the machines. Wiped out? And who knows, perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us. But the humans on the moon? Now they are interesting. Why them? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to... We will then dissect yeah, and he's not getting them hacked anytime in soon. order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers! Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. Negotiations, once again, stopped long a long time ago. Okay, now attacking time, I guess. The only remaining option is to destroy you. The same way oh, we destroyed these that's a grab. pathetic little aliens. Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> Gone. The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Back this way again? What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. Operator 60. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, 
But I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Hey, how's it hanging? You again. Your commander told me to build an- Oh, and I got the stupid- Um. I've known the commander for a while. Next time you see her... So this has a transport still. Tra They're way fast. Flight units also leave us open to attack. I'm not sure who that was supposed to be. If it was Adam and Eve, um, that concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course. Your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. If, uh, if that little animation was about Adam or, or Eve, it would have been about both of them. But that was just one person. Um, Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. I've been thinking we rest about a little it for bit a while, but... Um, it's been a while. Yeah, I'll rest yeah, if yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like it. Good. I've got your back on that one. Uh, I've been thinking about it for a while, but... 9S is the only... Um, male android that I've seen so far and he looks a lot like Adam and Eve and uh, when um, I forget her name the resistance leader um, first saw him she was like oh you're the second or something like that uh, I've been thinking for a while now that maybe 9S is, um, somehow related to, um, the, the Adam and Eve, um, is a connection to them. I'm not sure. So maybe it could have been him in that cutscene, because maybe, like, the voice sounded a bit the same. Um, I don't know. That was, that was a weird one. It was uh, definitely the most uh, vague so far. 